Okay, the orb clusters there and the orbs going around the tower. Now you can see them in the daytime. And these are not lights uh, for the Maple Leafs, like somebody once uh, made fun of the video I made. And that guy was a fool. So uh, these are orbs going around the tower and they're creating plasma because that thing's going to become a, a portal later on. That's what they're doing. They're creating dimensional gates to bring more of these things in. Look at these clusters. The whole tower is just glistening with them. And look at those things on the sides. Okay, I know that's not for the maple leaves. Check that out. You can see the orbs moving. I have to adjust this. Okay, now I know that's not for the leaves. Look at the... Just look at the velocity. How fast those things are going. And look at all the ones in the air. All that, that glitter is there in the air is just them. The air is full of them. I'll show you the other side. Just look at how many orbs there are. You can't even see the CN Tower. That's the restaurant part. And you can see them revolving counterclockwise around the tower. And this this is where you can see them better. I'm back up to show the whole thing. I don't know anybody who can say that that's a normal thing happening in Toronto and on the CN Tower. I don't know anyone who can say that it's normal and say it with a clear conscience. This is not normal. So the one down here in the middle. There's a cluster there. There's a cluster on top right there in the middle. There are many orbs just revolving with a million around that tower. This other side looks the same as the other one. On the bottom here there's a cluster right there and that's providing velocity for all the other orbs going around the bottom of the tower the restaurant part and that's gonna turn into a large plasma field in a little while when there's enough orbs to make one So, 
If I go up higher, you can see that there are clusters right there on top in the middle and these boxes look how much they're glowing that's because they're drawing so much power that the boxes are glowing okay. this is the orbs getting free electricity from those boxes there's so much power going, going through those boxes that they're glowing like they're gonna melt So that's the orbs getting free electricity to charge themselves up from our electric grid. The flashing lights are for airplanes to keep clear. More clusters. That's a rod going up and down right there. That's a rod. It's a stack of orbs. The whole structure is covered in orbs. The whole structure. This is the viewing deck on top of the restaurant. It's a couple of hundred feet up above the restaurant. And you can see that that thing is covered in orbs and orb clusters. The whole thing. So the whole tower is uh, just covered with those things. You can get a good look where they are and all those uh, around shiny spots, that's orb clusters. And that's what those are. You can see that this one's really gonna go big. It's gonna turn into a hexahedron, and when it does that, it's gonna open up the the portal because that's what that's for. That's the portal right there. So when they build up enough energy, they're gonna open up the portal and bring more of them in right into Toronto. And you can see on the bottom left of the screen just how fast the orbs are moving around. It looks like there's just one flickering there, but that's a whole slew of them going around and around counterclockwise around the tower. They're going so fast that it looks like they're in the same place. That's how fast they go around the tower. So this, when this turns into a large hexahedron, this will be a dimensional gate. They'll open up a portal and bring more orbs in from a different dimension altogether. You can tell where the organisms are on the tower. Where you see the darker part, everywhere you see the darker part along the structure, that's all organisms. Okay, there's tons of them millions of them on, on just that one structure so wherever you see the darker shade because that thing is usually white or very light tan so wherever you see the darker shade it's all of these organisms watch it's just all them the whole thing it's just uh, where it's darker that's where there's more of them and there's tons of them all the way down the whole structure every building in that entire area but especially the CN Tower wherever you see the darker spots that's all of these organisms all over it and the air is full of them too so this thing is getting hotter and it's going to become a real large hexahedron soon and become a portal. I'm just going to show this on the side here. Okay, so that's now gone. All the power, it's almost gone. 
all the power is being transmitted into the into the shape down here okay watch this cluster now Okay, just keep an eye on that cluster, see what happens. Look at all the orbs. That's all orbs, the whole screen. There's millions and millions, billions of them all over the place. Look how they just blur the whole field of vision. That's how many of them there are. This is daytime now. You can't say I'm making things up and I'm making special effects. This is daytime footage. And the reason why it looks so blurry is because there's so many of them in the air that you can't see. Pretty soon there'll be so many coming off the lake and they'll just cover the whole CN Tower, you won't be able to see it at all. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what's happening on the bottom of the CN Tower, watch. There's more organisms on it. It's getting darker. Look how dark it is. Look at the top. Now this is white. Look at all of them on the top. That's normally white in color because that's the antenna. I'll show you that color. It's this color. Now look how many of them there are on the antenna. There's so many that it looks black. Look. It's supposed to be white like on top. So that's how many of the organisms there are. And you can see them on the restaurant as well. And on the top deck. But look how many there are just billions of them all over I can actually see clouds of them in the sky there's so many of them there's clouds of them they just carpet the whole sky okay there's nothing normal about this this is not some natural phenomenon these things are intelligent and they're here and they have their plans for all of us this is not an accidental occurrence and they're not here to play nice they're coming in from a different dimension and look what they're doing so even here is gonna be black pretty soon as the organisms build up you, you can see that they're already starting to uh, build up around there you can see them moving okay my battery is gonna die out the battery is gonna die out in a few minutes so uh, just want you to take a look now you see the antenna how white it is that's going to be black just like here because that's part of it. Look how dark the structure is. That, that's organisms all over it. Look. The whole height of the structure. It's nothing but uh, billions and billions of these organisms. And they're not from this planet. You can see how many there are on either side. But the air is so full of them you can hardly breathe. Look how many there are. 
Let me just put it over here. Look how many organisms there are. Look, here's the restaurant. That's the restaurant at the CN Tower. Look how many rest, uh, how many organisms there are all over it. You can see the nucleus of the cluster right there in that center. And it's making counterclockwise rotations at a very high speed. The velocity is tremendous. And it's just cluster next to cluster uh, all over that whole structure. And the air is just as full everywhere. Doesn't matter where you are in Toronto. The whole thing is, uh, is the same everywhere. Look at the structure now. It's practically black with the organisms look there's hardly any place left that they haven't covered watch them cover that little part there on the left that's left right here watch them cover that part this is no accident Watch them cover this. Just want to show one more time. Look how black the structure looks. It should be looking white, or at least uh, light tan at the darkest. Look at the structure, it's just black. And look at the organisms, they're going to cover that part right there, that's the only part left that's not covered. They've covered everything else. So this is a situation in Toronto and there's nothing normal around, uh, around here and there's nothing normal about it. And I'm sure these orbs aren't rooting for the Leafs or any other team in Toronto and that's not the reason why they're here. They have a much uh, higher priority than the Leafs or any team. They're here on their own team and they're here to take over this uh, planet for themselves. They're not on our team, that's for sure. Now some people may be on their team, that's unfortunate, because they're selling us all out. That's going to be a dimensional portal in just a little while. As soon as it gets dark, that'll start to glow, and that'll be a dimensional gate and a portal to another dimension and uh, they'll be coming in from another dimension right here into the third dimension and that's the nucleus of it right there